Well, my wife wants a food trailer, and I decided the best thing to do would be to buy a bowling lane. It still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that was dumb. That, that was dumb. Every tool's a hammer. Unless it's a screwdriver, then it's a chisel. <laughs> we a torch. Hate that nut. We're not doing that. Because <laughs> huh. it ain't built till it's overbuilt. Don't force it. Get a bigger hammer. Every day is a school day. All right, just hear me out, okay? I bought a bowling lane chunk so I could make a butcher top counter for the trailer. See how it all comes together? Anybody know how to make a butcher block top? I'm learning new things all the time, okay? Let me show you a couple things I've picked up here already. So I bought a couple feet of a bowling lane because it's made out of nice hard maple and I thought that's that'll be perfect for my wife's countertop. And when I got there, I mean, the upshot is it was nearly free, but uh, it's really heavy. It's quite thick, a couple inches. And another thing, I never knew about bowling alleys. They're just nailed together. They're not glued. So what you, it's heavy. What you end up with is nice big cracks where you know stuff can get down in and be gross. Like the way you're not supposed to have a countertop. So what was gonna be a simple trim it to size and sand it and refinish it. it's now going to be a complete tear it apart <sighs> cut it down i guess so it's thinner and then glue it together my first clue was the guy says make sure you don't use a good saw blade i said why it's beautiful wood oh no no it's all nailed together there's all these nails through it and you never know where they're going to be and of course, I said, what do you mean? It's not glued. And he picked it up and wiggled it and said, no, see? And, and okay, you're up to speed. That's where we're at. Uh, I, I just, I got to, I guess, tear it apart, all the layers. And since I got it apart, I might better run it through the table saw so I can make it, you know, just a normal thickness, like three quarters of an inch thick. Then I'll glue it all back together. And then I'll be to where I thought I was going to be when I brought this thing home last week <laughs> my life oh terrific look it that is a fiendish device meant to bedevil the days of man right there the spiral nail <laughs> Yikes. Well, it weren't pretty. It was actually, I got me a lather on. It was actually hard work, but uh, they did come apart. Not bad, I kind of knackered up the tops of all of them. Ooh, little blood. That's it though, that's all the blood we got. That's not bad. Uh, but luckily I don't need the whole board. Like I said, I'm gonna rip them. So I'll probably rip them below that little tongue right there and I'll use the bottom piece. So I won't, won't matter that I've messed them all up. A few of them were not full boards, but that's okay. I'll just put them back. I put everything here the exact same order that it came out in. So those, I know right where those pieces go. And I'll just glue them in there. I only split one. But it's okay. This was, this was a little bit longer than I needed. So look at, I got a spare, okay? <laughs> you get, you get it? It's spare. It's because it's, 
bowling. It's all glued. I just gotta sand it. It ain't perfect, okay? There's, there's like steps here. So I got some sanding to do. Hopefully it's not too painful. We're just gonna, we're just gonna dive right in there. See how it goes. I think what I'm going to do is borrow my father-in-law's belt sander. That should even things up quicker. We'll go from there. If I knew what I was doing and did a nice job, gluing this up probably would be pretty easy, but none of that's the case. So. Welcome back to my wood shop where not only do we not know anything about woodworking, but <laughs> last night recorded a whole bunch of stuff without uh, hitting record. <laughs> so, you know, you missed out on a little. Let me, I, 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 just, I can quickly show you what I did last night, okay? Really not a big deal. I, uh, <laughs> I, got, I got it cut out to size. I went down to the trailer and got a measurement, cut it a little bit big. And then I uh, scribed it so it matches the wall a little bit better. Still isn't perfect or anything, but uh, then I proceeded to plug the holes. It had, for whatever reason, it had some holes drilled in it. There was there was four, and one of them just barely got cut off here, so I only had to plug three. And then this one, I managed to blow out a chunk here, so I had to whittle out a little piece and glue it in, but I think it's okay. Um, but I've got it sanded. It's pretty, it's pretty okay, you know? Um, there was a few of the nail holes from when it was nailed together uh, that I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of. So I had to just fill them. All I did was took some wood glue and some of the real fine, real, real fine, like sanding sawdust and uh, mixed it up and squished it in there. So that seems like a, halfway decent repair 
So all I have left to do now, I think, is um, I'm going to wet it down. That'll bring up the hairs, and then I'll sand it again. I think I got some 220. I'll sand it with 220. And then I got uh, mineral oil. I'll put some mineral oil on it, and then it'll be done and ready to go into the rig. So without further ado, let's wrap it up. There's no time to spare. <laughs> It's bowling. It's a bowling joke. You probably already know this, but uh, it's pretty neat. You, you, uh, when you're finishing something that's bare wood, you, you get it so you think it's probably smooth enough, and then you take just a little bit of moisture. It doesn't, doesn't have to be soaking wet. Just get a little bit of water on there, and the wood... The fibers in the wood will reach up. You can hear it. Hear how rough it is. You can really feel it. Um, and what if you don't do that? Then when you put your stain or whatever kind of liquid you put on it, that it'll happen then. But if you do it now, they come up. You sand them off, and it stays smooth when you put your finish on. So this, you know, this is not really a. Big, this is going to get beat up pretty bad. She'll be working on here and cutting on here and stuff. That's why I'm just going to oil it rather than, rather than you know, try to urethane it because you'd end up chopping that surface finish all up. With the oil, you just can keep re-oiling it. So I'm going to use regular mineral oil. I, I hope it's right. I mean, I really don't know crap about it. <laughs> See, I'll tell you, you guys are lucky with the, with the dad joke. Uh, you know, they're they're consistently hysterical. And I hope you appreciate them. It's going to be a while before I can install it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this video up um, rather than leave it out there hanging until it's in the camper but at some point you'll get a shot of it in the camper <clears throat> but i just wanted to touch one thing if, if this is a project you guys are doing the bottom of this is still very uneven you know because i didn't bother to belt sand it all nice and smooth so when i set this in to the food truck i'm going to lay down a bead of silicone on top of the framework and then i'll pick the boards like this one. i'll pick the boards that are gotta get my other hand i'll pick the boards that are that are this way you know that are that are sticking out down here and i'll put screws into those i'll just i'll just you know get a screw that's just the right length to go in here a little bit so i'll lay down a bead of silicone and i'll get a screw into a few of these high boards the highest boards because if you put a screw into a board that's low like this one uh you're you're not pulling it it's it can't go tight to the frame you know what i mean there's an air gap there and you're gonna end up cracking this glue joint here so i'll be very careful i'll pick the the highest boards which will probably be obvious when it's sitting there because it'll you'll see light under the other ones right <clears throat> so it'll be bead of silicone and then screw down the highest boards what that's going to accomplish is the silicone will support the boards that are not touching the frame there'll be a it'll squeeze out all but that little bit and then on the silicone cures it'll work kind of like glue you know it's not as good as glue but it also you can remove it if you need to if i have troubles with this because it's kind of tough service because these things go down the road you know and the, and the thing moves all over so this may cut this may crack come apart i don't know like i said i don't have any idea what i'm doing i'm not a woodworking guy if I could weld it together, then I would know that it was going to hold up. But anyways, the silicone will be like a support bed under the, the boards that aren't touching. And then, in theory, I think that should work. So that's how it's going to be installed. Um, like I said, I'm just going to wrap this video up and, and I'll show you this when we go through the camper next time or whatever. You should be able to see it. Um, but that's, uh, that's it for that. That's how you make a bowling lane into a countertop. It's not as easy as you might think when you look at it. That bowling lane would have made a fine bar or something just the way it was, you know. 
because you wouldn't care about the, the cracks and between the boards and stuff. And you'll you'll have it sitting on a big heavy frame, so it, you won't care that it wants to wave either. But in this case, I really needed it to be a solid top. I think it looks really nice uh, just with the oil on there. It's pretty cool. Very nice. So yeah, this 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 is exactly the size of one of the cabinets in the trailer. So it's just going to be the, the the top of that cabinet will be all butcher block. I think it's going to be pretty slick. But hey, this is uh, this has gone on long enough. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for spending your time with me. Make sure you tell your friends they should watch. Make sure you tell them to click subscribe. Okay, it's important. I don't know what happened to the bell. <laughs> okay, the bell, the bell's gone. I guess. I don't know. My friend told me what bell. There's no bell and I, I can't find a bell either. So if you know anything about the bell, <laughs> put it in the comments because I, I'm befuddled by the whole thing. Thanks for watching me turn a bowling lane into a countertop. I'm glad I didn't strike out. <laughs> I'm telling you. The quantity and quality of dad jokes you receive is worth your subscription.